Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc. So just this past week, I won my store championship with Black War Greymon X. Uh, went into it completely cold turkey on this deck. Haven't touched this deck since Nationals and managed to take it. Uh, I think that this deck is actually in a great position now. Um, with the recent hit to um, the decks that are a lot faster than it, um, particularly stuff like Beelzemon <clears throat> was like my main contender to deal with. Uh, once that kind of slowed down a bit, I felt a lot better about it. Also, taking in my locals for consideration, uh, we have a few blue flare players, uh, Machine Germon, things like that. And I thought the redirect on Black War Greymon X is invaluable. Basically, that was my goal, was to get into Black War Greymon X just because of the redirect. If I get stunned into Oblivion, um, or you know my opponent tries to bounce me or something like that, if I can just be a giant wall that even if they stun, I can still come out ahead, that was my goal. Um, so that's why I thought about Black War Grim on X, particularly for my locals, um, but also because I think it's in a great position for the meta uh, with the new raid mechanics and things like that. We'll get into it, but um, there's some nasty combos that you can do with this deck that I'm really, really enjoying. Also, our new featured memory marker this month is Baumon. So if you are looking forward to Lugamon and all the Lugamon evolutions, you're definitely going to want to pick up this little memory marker here. This is his baby form. Look how freaking cute he is. Just just the best. I mean, this is like literally my new favorite uh, baby. Is Lugamon's like my new favorite rookie. I am absolutely loving this Evo line so far. Um, so you can definitely uh, pick this up from our Etsy page. Or if you're a Patreon reward member, this is our reward for the month. Um, so check that out. The, uh, this is all handmade by my wife, hand painted as well uh, by uh, Digi Me. You can uh, get her link in for her Etsy is in the uh, description below, where all of her previous memory markers that we featured on the channel are, as well as a lot of her old updated or old ones have been updated with a, a new look. All right, as always, I have the whole deck profile pulled up for you guys so you can kind of follow along and kind of see our overall thought process of why we included certain things. Now, would I change something in this? Perhaps, like, if you know me, you know I love Gaiomon, and not having Gaiomon in this deck feels, like, insane, but I really like Gaiomon with the old Metal Greymon to attack unsuspended Digimon. Um, without that, I felt like I needed that... Um, I felt like I needed Gaiomon less, uh, but that's because the, the new Metal Greymon is so powerful, so, so strong. Um, so I went with this uh, even 3-3 split. Um, again, I went in this with no practice on this deck, and we managed to take it. Our matchups were Old Force, round one, um, round two was Armors, and then round three was the, uh, the War Greymon X version of this same deck. Um, his had tons and tons of text. It was uh, my my testing partner, uh, Yugo Souls. He, uh, you know, his strategies are often vastly different from mine. He had all kinds of crazy text in his, like the Greymon that plays out the Tamers and things like that. Um, that's a lot. He he had the more mainstream version, you know, the the uh, the cool boys and things like that. He, you know, the, the the deck that has been doing well. He had that version of of the deck uh, where I was like, nah, I just want my old. Basic stuff here, you know, straight, simple. Uh, I, you, if you know me and you follow my deck profiles a lot, I hate one ofs unless it's like specifically limited. I can only run one of it, such as the Greymon X antibody. Um, but I hate, I hate spicy texts. <laughs> I am like a, I like vanilla ice cream uh, kind of guy, and um, so that's kind of what I went with. I just went with raw numbers. Um, and that's what we're going to do here. So first up, we got Coromon. Um, I'm a big fan of consistency cards in this in this game. Um, so the Coromon draw ability is really good. Um, often, uh, sometimes with Coromon, you can swing and you just draw that X antibody Digimon and then immediately use your X antibody inheritable to Evo. Oh, man, sometimes it's just an absolute lifesaver. So really just love this Coromon. In very niche situations, well, I run the other Coromon for the 1K buff. Uh, next up for our rookies, only two of the promo Agumon for that 2k buff. I know, pretty crazy. Uh, well, you notice we're also not running any Omnimons. I know, it's it's pretty wild. Not running any Omnimons at all. But uh, So just the 2k buff. The rest is all searchers. I want just consistency. Okay, I want to see 
my cards as fast as possible. Um, so that's why we went with the, the Agumons we went with. Um, instead of like some other like cheeky texts and stuff like that. Um, first up, we've got the, the new one here. Uh, the on play, you can reveal four, which is great. Great dig on uh, with four of them instead of three like normal. Greymon or Omnimon and a tie. And then a 1k buff on all turns. That all turns is so powerful in the mirror match. Just an absolute godsend. Um, having yeah, having that buff on your opponent's turn is so huge. Uh, next, we got the old uh, BT5 one, which is the reveal. You can add a Greymon and an Omnimon. Again, we're not running any Omnimons. Just another Greymon searcher. <clears throat> and then we have our Agumon X here, which is going to give us our Greymon or uh, Omnimon. Or, or and an X antibody option. So very strong. Uh, you get, I would say the the tricky part of this deck is learning how to play it and the timing of when to do certain things. Um, sometimes it's better to just hard play this guy out rather than Evo him in raising area for that draw, um, that reveal three, and then to dig for your X antibody option. I only have the two in here. I, I kind of wish I had three in in the games that I played because often I was like just digging and digging for it. Um, and sometimes, you know, you'd bottom deck it off of your, your other searchers and things like that. It's just, you know, it happens. Um, so having extra copies of this would be nice. Uh, maybe just one more. If we're going to go so heavy on the Black War game on X, I think maybe um, one more X antibody. Um, but yeah, so make sure you use your Agumon Xs. Uh, time them well, for sure. Time them well. For our level fours, I am still just a sucker for Greymon Starter Deck One, a Security Attack Plus One Inheritable. I love this card. I, it's it's good to me. I mean, I get double security checks. Uh, I can end the game sooner. If you give your opponent enough time, they will win. Okay, like uh, if I've only got Blocker Redirect, that's that's two attacks I can stop every turn. That's pretty good. But in some matchups. That's not enough. Uh, so I like to end the game a little bit sooner when given the opportunity. Um, so that's why I'm a, I'm a fan, of course. Uh, next, we've got the new BT12 Greymon here. Um, the win a Digivolving, if you don't have a Tamer in play, you can play the, the tie um, for free. You know, If you don't have a tie, you can play a tie. Um, this kind of this you gotta be careful with this card. It sometimes is a bit of a bait. Um, they want you to prom like your opponent would love for you to promote out a raising area just to Evo this, just to play the tie, and then for them to just kill your whole stack before you can actually make it into something threatening. And then you're like, crap, I don't even have anything in raising area. I like this effect when I'm making a second stack. I've got my first stack uh, building in raising area. I'm, maybe I'm missing a level five. I'm bricking somewhere on something. Um, I can start a new stack, a hard plane Agumon searcher, and then you know Agu X, whatever, and then Evo this guy on top of that searching stack to get that free tie out. That's a that's a good combination that I, I prefer for this Wind Digivolve In fact, I don't like to waste it on my stack out of raising area. But also this uh, the inheritable here of all turns that 1K buff again, very very powerful. So that's two ways that we can get a, a, a 2k buff basically on our opponent's turn. The Tai also, the Yuya also. Um, so we can get some nice buffs. We can get our, our Black War Greymon and our, our War Greymon or Black War Greymon X both really massive during our opponent's turn. So I like it. <coughs> For our X package, this is kind of standard. We've got three of the old one here and then one of the new one because it's limited, of course. Um, but the protection is huge. Um, because we, I only ran the two X antibodies. Um, I want to max out on this guy, also because I'm not running any Altarius modes. You might notice, um, so I don't have that second line of protection um, because I wanted to max out on that other combo, the combo I, wanna, I really want to talk about. Um, so this is crucial. Having having one of these Greymon Xs is crucial. You really, really want to see it. Sometimes it doesn't happen, um, but I would say most games it does. Um, even if it doesn't happen in one stack in the game, uh, usually my stacks are so threatening that the opponent has to deal with them before they can start going for game. And by that point, I'm already building up a second stack. And usually by the second stack, I've got uh, a Greymon X in there. For our level fives here, uh, we've got the new Metal Greymon with the raid. Uh, all turns, when attack target is switched, you may play one <coughs> black or red tamer card with play cost of four or less from your hand without paying cost. This one's great to play out your Yuya. 
So I'm a big fan of using this to play Yuya, um, but it also works for Tai as well. If you don't have a Tai in play already, like giving you those buffs, that blocker, that 1k buff, things like that, this is a great way to go ahead and get those buffs for yourself. Um, so that's really nice and uh, has the uh, piercing inheritable. If it has Greymon or Omnimon in its name, like no crazy weird restrictions, like it's got to be Dragonkin or something like that. No, it's just like Greymon in the name. Let's go. <laughs> like, sweet. So I can Evo my Metal Greymon here, which is, you know, the Cyborg type, which always messed you up. Um, now the Cyborg type doesn't matter. It's like, it's got Greymon in the name. Cool. We're good to go. We can Evo this guy for zero on top of that Metal Greymon and get our piercing immediately we don't even have to go any any higher in this deck than a level five to do absolute incredible damage so when did you evolve that security attack plus one which is great so in combination with the old gray mon here now we're swinging for three checks and we get a plus 3k buff if we have x antibody or the metal gray mon in the inheritables so my big favorite combo to do in this deck is go Metal Greymon, swing into my opponent's Digimon, you know, raid over them, and then use the X Antibody option to the inheritable of when attacking. Uh, you can Digivolve into an X Antibody Digimon. So then you mid attack, go into this for free, play out a free tamer, you know, get a buff from the U for from the tie. And uh, and then you can swing over that Digimon. So now you're just incredibly massive. For a level five, you can easily get, you know, you get the Agumon, the Greymon. I mean, that's plus 3K, plus his own 3K. That's plus 6K. Get a tie. That's uh, plus 7K there. So now we're swinging at 15,000 on our level five with piercing, with security attack, plus one or two. Um, you know, if you if you got the plus one, you know, you're missing out on this, this uh, DP buff here. But still, incredibly strong i mean you're swinging over most everything in the game at 14 and 15k um just like some level sevens that are going to be standing you know that you have to worry about but besides that um yeah fantastic abilities here <clears throat> really really loving this combo i've I li like literally uh my my testing partner partner yugo souls did this in our feature match if you watched it a couple weeks ago uh so strong <laughs> it's just i was like every game you're gonna do that against me it was just a nightmare um Unfortunately, in our in our game, uh, our finals match, he was not able to get that combo off, and I think that's probably why I was able to take it is because of this combo right here. I think this combo is so strong that that's probably you know what makes this deck so much better than it used to be is this nasty combo right here that you can do. Um, I'm really really um, happy with it. So once I do that and I get my whole shenanigans off, uh, I've done my damage. I'm ready to pass my turn. I can either go into Black or Greymon or Black or Greymon X. Um, depending on my opponent's crack back, what they have uh, uh, coming at me, I'll go into uh, Black or Greymon to pop some tamers or or pop a, something on field just to kind of clear them out. Um, like I said, I've got old force, you know, everywhere in my at my locals and things like that. I always have to play against it. So I was like, oh yeah, pop pop tamers. You know, hunters also play a lot of, against the hunters decks. Um, red hybrid. It's out there, okay. Hey, those hunters or those tamer decks are, are heavy right now in the format. So like, yeah, black or gray one, let's go, let's pop double tamers or whatnot. Um, and this did come up a lot. I, I used black or one in every game to pop tamers, and it felt really good. Uh, this the only thing is he doesn't have that reboot. So if you've done your big combo for your level fives and you evo this guy to pass turn, you know he is suspended there. Uh, hopefully you've got some buffs from the tie or the the Greymon or Agumon all turns one K buff, make him a little bit bigger. Um, but in that mirror match, ah, man, they're going to get even bigger than you. So <laughs> you, you can expect to lose your stack in the mirror match if uh, you leave this guy suspended. Um, but again, you, you typically only want to go into this guy if your opponent, there's no way for them to get that crack back against you. Um, and then you go into Black or Greymon. Uh, so yeah, he's great. <clears throat> and then it sets up for our Black or Greymon X. Uh, in the future, especially if we don't have our X antibody option, uh, we can go th this guy over that black or one for only two or five. Uh, the five is still okay. Uh, often, I, often I put my opponent to like four, and they can do some good stuff with the four. But I think black or on X is so strong that it's hard for them to really do much. So we get that reboot, and then um, opponent's turn, when your opponent's Digimon with the highest DP attacks, you may switch the attack target to this Digimon. So that's that redirect we were talking about. So we get blocker and the redirect is really strong. 
Uh, but also a opponent's turn when a Digimon becomes unsuspended, i.e. this one when it's when he reboots during your opponent's turn. Uh, if this Digimon has Black or Greymon or X antibody and Sigilish cards, you may delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest play cost. So, you know, if you did some good clearing, like he raided over your opponent's stuff with the Metal Greymon and, the, and the, you got the piercing and everything, and your opponent only has one Digimon left, you're like, what do I do to pass turn? Black or Greymon X, reboot, pop that last thing on field, go about your day. Um, so such a strong card, really, really like in the current, like format in this current deck with all the tools we have available now, this card feels even stronger than it originally did, which is saying something because this card was an absolute menace when it came out, um, last set. I know it's only been one set, but, um, yeah, super strong, uh, for that's it for our main Digimon here. So let's go ahead. No, I know no Omnimons. Why did I do no Omnimons? Um, one, uh, this isn't a super fast deck. So I wasn't looking at the Blitz with the uh, Omnimon X combo, right? The trash, the security, uh, clear a Digimon, uh, swing for game combo, or the Blitz for game. I, I wasn't looking at that because yes, I can put out some pretty good damage, but I think those really serve their best in the War Greymon version of the deck. Um, where this is, like, my top end is very defensive, um, which is another reason I didn't go with the OG Omnimon X. I was going with the OG Omni, Omni X um, for the Beelzemon match because just stopping them from ever getting anything off uh, was really, really strong. And they could just never win. Once I stuck that, and it had, you know, protection for days and everything like that. Um, that's why I ran that. But with so much less Beelzemon, I was like, well, I don't need that Omnimon either. So I was like, well, I don't really need any Omnimon, in fact. Uh, my Black War Greymon X is a great defensive card. My offensive output is great. So I'm in a really good position. I don't really need to give up my Megas for an Omnimon. Like, at times, yes, a Blitz Omnimon would have been nice. Could I drop the red memory boost for an, an Omnimon or two? Yeah, probably. Um, but everything felt so great that I just, I'm like, I'm not going to cut any of my Digimon numbers down. I really like my, my Digimon count. Uh, there's like, I can draw enough. I, I have enough levels that I can see pieces very consistent, consistently. So if I want to add Omnimons in, I have to cut something out of this end of the, the package, um, which I just didn't feel overly comfortable with. Red Memory Boost came up. Uh, getting that extra memory on turns was very, very invaluable. Your opponent can't interact with this once it's on field. It's just going to sit there. The, the only thing they can do is run a memory blocker to stop it. Um, and no one's running those right now because there's not a lot of decks that are gaining too much memory. So uh, Red Memory Boost is feeling pretty good. Um, so yeah, tie, uh, start of your turn or the uh, start of your main phase, sorry, uh, or on play. You can, one of your Digimon, Agumon or Greymon, his name gets 1k buff and blocker. Um, so, again, if you're playing this in the middle of your turn, you can still get that buff, which is what makes uh, that the raid package, the Metal Greymon raid, and then play this and then get that on play effect and then go Metal Greymon X. So you get a 1k buff from him and 3k buff from him and blocker. Very, very strong. And then when one of your Digimon Digivolves into a Greymon or Agumon, his name by suspending the same or gain one memory. Very strong. Uh, like it's like Nokia all over again, like Nokia and cool boy, you know, which very much like feels like that kind of a setup. So having this instead of cool boy, hundred percent, absolutely love it. Um, that one K buff, it, it's, it's so great. It's like, do what do I want more? Do I want this tie or do I want cool boy? Cool boy, uh, can get me that draw and memory gain and a search. Um, but this guy will get me the memory gain. The 1k buff blocker but i can play this for free cool boy if i'm playing cool boy i'm just searching like i'm just desperately digging if i'm playing tie i'm often already just kind of going ahead i'm just getting tie for free you know and that's what i like i like tie for free rather than having to waste time playing tamers same thing for yu year i do not want to hard play a yu Yu on my own like there are situations where i'm like oh, i'm just a little bit bricked i'm just gonna play a yu out i'll get my draws going next turn and i'll be fine um, or again with that raid from the Metal Grey Mon, really strong. But yeah, so why do we play the Yuya? So the Yuya, of course, memory fixer, which is always great. Always love you, a good memory fixer. But also, like in certain matchups, Yuya is beyond good. Uh, if you ever have to go against security control, which if you're playing in an online event, like you got eight or nine rounds of a tournament, there's there's a 
good chance at least one round you're going to come against a player that's going to be security control or pseudo security control. You can play against like a Mass Daemon or a uh, Beelzstarmon. You know, there, there's those decks are out there. Also, Beelzemon as well. Uh, they've got lots of removal options. You've got protection for the on deletion stuff built into your deck. Um, but like stuff like Chaos Deg, though, yeah, you're, you can't do nothing about Chaos Deg. That's when Yuya comes in so, so strong. Uh, when one of your Digimon digivolves into a Digimon with Greymon in its name, uh, by suspending this tamer, that Digimon gets 2k DP until the end of your opponent's turn. If it digivolved into the same level Digimon, it, is, uh, it isn't it is affected by your opponent's option cards until the end of your opponent's turn. That's huge. Completely invaluable. Like, for if you're playing against an opponent that's playing Chaos Deg or Lone Key, either one, uh, Yuya is, is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um... And what you might like, well, what's decks playing Lone Key? Um, a lot of the cross decks, uh, several of them are playing Lone Key right now. Um, the like the Merva Rush or the Shoutmon Cross Seven, those decks are running uh, Lone Key. So Yuya is really good in those matchups, and I think Merva Rush is one of the best decks in the format right now. So uh, Yuya, really really strong for those matchups. So really liking this this setup. Honestly, this has been great. I don't I don't feel like I need a cool boy. Cool boy is just gonna whiff for me. Um, yeah, I just I don't think I need it. Um, yeah, um, red memory boost. Already kind of talked about it. It's a great searcher. Uh, opponent can't interact with the memory gain, which is great. So getting that two memory, super strong. Uh, I would say this is the only flex spot of the deck. Um, if you don't want to run this, um, you can run something else like an Omnimon or something like that. Yeah, the the only thing in this deck that I could even consider dropping down and replacing would be the Red Memory Boost. Like, this is some people's Cool Boy spot, this is some people's Omnimon spot, just whatever you prefer. Uh, and then next we got the X Antibody, fantastic card. Uh, don't really need to say much. Security, gain one memory. Actually comes up, have it happen several times. Uh, but really, it's just you just play this for the win attacking. Uh, this Digimon can devolve into a Digimon with X Antibody and its traits uh, from your hand for its devolution cost. And lastly, Hades Force is a must, absolutely, blow up those Tamer boards. Yes, we have the Black or Grey Mon, um, but sometimes your opponent can just get ahead, and you just need to, like, hammer them back to where they go belong in the Stone Age. Hades Force is going to get you to that point. Um, Hades Force, basically, it stops your opponent from, from having a comeback turn. Um, that's that's the thing. Uh, in those, uh, the Merva matchups, the, the Hunters matchups, they can literally pop off from nowhere if they've got enough setup with tamers and and sources under their tamers they can just come back and and beat you into the ground hades force is that that great equalizer it's like you know what i'm winning i'm gonna keep winning okay you hear me i'm gonna keep winning you ain't coming back i'm gonna make sure you don't come back and that's what hades force is here for um so if you have x antibody and a digital source you can reduce the play cost by two making this only a five which is so good uh, may choose any number of your opponent's Digimon and or Tamers whose combined play costs uh, are less than or equal to the play cost of one of your Digimon with Greymon in its name and delete all of the, the chosen cards. Then one of your Greymon, Digimon with Greymon in its name can attack your player. Also, security uh, effect, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest play cost. Pretty strong. Um, so yeah, Hades Force, you can play it with any of your Greymons uh, and it just looks at their play cost and that's how much you get to delete. Uh, like granted, Black War Ramon X is the ideal target, um, but a lot of these other stuff, like there's been plenty of times where I'm like, oh yeah, Metal Greymon, you are just enough. Let's go ahead and drop that Hades Force for five and go about our day and just go ahead and clear them off. Uh, Metal Greymon, if you did the combo where you played out a Tamer for free off, the, off this one, so if you got Metal Greymon X and a Black Tamer, that's your red and black stipulation, so you're great. So that's eight play cost. I mean, that's two memory fixers. You know, that's going to be, you know, a plethora of different things uh, if you're playing again in a matchup that they've got Cool Boys or if they've got the V Tamer tie. Um, you know, that's going to be a massive uh, deletion of a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, Hades Force, invaluable. In certain matchups, you have to have Hades Force or you probably will lose. Um, there's just no way of getting around it. Um, but that is the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. hope the, the video wasn't too long. Uh, really, really enjoying it. I think it's in a great place in the meta right now. Um, very, very comfortable with this deck. Always a fan. I know people are so tired of Greymon stuff, um, but I just felt like running it back. It had been a bit, um, so I wanted to play it again. 
And it just actually, when I, more I thought about it, I was like, oh yeah, no, like as much as I want to just play this deck again, uh, because I've been kind of in a lull of what to play recently and enjoying, like playing this deck again was a lot of fun, but also I was like, oh wait, it's actually incredibly good right now uh, in the format again. So yeah, really happy with it.